In this lesson, we are going to find the limit uh, using what's called L'Hopital's theorem. So we're given that the limit of e to the x minus 1 minus x over x as x approaches 0. So we want to find the limit of this function. Um, over to the right, I have actually graphed that function. You can see here. Um, so as x approaches 0, you can see that the limit approaches this hole, which is uh, which has a value of y equals which, which has a value of y equals to two, so we're going to verify that analytically using L'Hopital's theorem. So the first thing, when you come across a limit, you should always do direct substitution, meaning that you want to substitute uh, whatever x is approaching into the function. So you're going to get e to the zero minus one minus zero divided by zero. So simplifying this, since e to the 0 is 1, you're going to get 1 minus 1 over 0, and that gives us 0 over 0. So that, that value, okay, this is, not, this is not 1. This is actually indeterminate, what's called indeterminate value. Okay. okay. So there's other indeterminate values like, uh, for example, infinity over infinity, uh, 0 to the power 0, infinity minus infinity, uh, and infinity over infinity. So there's different ones, but the more common ones is 0 over 0 and infinity over infinity. And you can see those in the, in the notes, actually. So whenever you get one of these indeterminate values after doing a direct substitution, then that is when you want to apply L'Hopital's theorem. Okay, so that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so the theorem says that it states that you take the derivative of the top function. Divided by the derivative of the bottom function. Okay, so we take the derivative of the top. Um, the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. And we have minus 1 plus x. So the derivative of 1 will be 0. The derivative of x is 1. So that's going to leave us with positive 1 on top. Actually, e to the x plus 1. And then divided by the derivative of x, which is 1. So this is going to give us the limit of e to the x plus 1 as x approaches 0. And so then plugging in 0, you get e to the 0 plus 1. Again, e to the 0 is just 1. So you end up getting the value of 2. So that tells you that the original limit of the, the original limit that we're given is equal to 2. Okay, so therefore the limit as x approaches 0 of e to the x minus 1 minus x over x is equal to 2. And that's what you see here. Uh, to the right in this graph. Since x approaches 0 from both sides, you can see that it's approaching the, the y value of 2.